This is a tour of the Charles River as it runs between Harvard University and Harvard Business School. The Charles River is an 80 mile or 129 kilometer long river that flows in an overall northeasterly direction in eastern Massachusetts. From its source in Hopkinton, the river travels through 22 cities and towns until reaching the Atlantic Ocean at Boston. It is also sometimes called the River Charles. The river is well known for its rowing, sculling, dragon boating, and sailing, both recreationally and competitively. The river may also be kayak, depending on the season. The river's name, preceding the English version, was once thought to be Quinobiquin, meaning meandering, though that attribution has been discredited by, among others, the Harvard University Library in 1850. The river was used by Native Americans for local transportation and fishing, and is part of the passage from southeastern Massachusetts to northern New England. Captain John Smith explored and mapped the coast of New England, naming many features originally, naming many features, originally naming the Charles River the Massachusetts River, which was derived from the tribe living in the region. When Smith presented his map to Charles I, he suggested that the king should feel free to change any of the barbarous names for English ones. The king made many such changes, but only four survive today, one of which is the Charles River, which Charles named for himself. Within Harvard University culture, the river also plays an important part. Each year, the river is home to the head of the Charles Regatta, which attracts rowing teams from around the country and which Harvard's local own teams compete in every year. In addition, many students, usually around graduation, choose to jump off many of the bridges that run across the Charles and go for a swim in the river one last time before we leaving the area. One of my very good friends did this just a few days ago. So if you're in the area, it's a great spot to spend some time taking in the local surroundings and getting an appreciation for the way the locals live.